How to split page in Google Docs. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how you can split this page up if you would like to use it for uh, any specific purpose. So I'm going to go ahead right on the top of the left hand side of the page. You'll see there is your title or your page name your document name and then underneath that you have your toolbars so underneath file we're going to go and tap on that and we're going to look for the page setup at the bottom now right from here you're going to make sure that it's on pages right at the top and you're going to want to make sure that it says apply to and it's the whole document that is selected and then the orientation you want to make sure that the landscape is actually selected and then over here you want to make this 0.5 so you're going to go ahead and make every one of these 0.5 and um, all the way down to the left as well as the right over there i just want to make this uniformed all right there we go the paper size you want to make sure stays a4 and you can change the page color over here if you'd like but for now we're going to just leave it as white and we're going to tap on ok now right from here you're going to go up to the toolbar again and you're going to tap on format now as you tap on format you can travel down and you can locate columns once you're in columns you can see pretty much that you can split your page into two columns or into three. You can choose any one of these. I'm going to go ahead and choose the split of two. You can now go ahead back into format and back into columns and we're going to now go into more options. Now once you tap on more options the number of columns you can change over here. So you can change that again one two or three. You've got your spacing as well that you can change and then the line between columns we're going to have to check that on and right from there we're going to go and tap on apply now from here we're going to go ahead and you've got your ruler up at the top now you will see some markers there's a left side marker and a center marker now that center marker we're going to tap down and we're going to just move it over slightly and uh, you can pretty much move it to anywhere you would like i'm going to move that to 13 there's one on the right hand side as well and i'm going to go ahead and just make sure that that says 16 and that is great so from here you can go ahead and you can tap on insert and if you go all the way down to insert you will see break now once you tap on break you'll see here that there is a column break icon and here you can see now that we have broken our page we've split our page over here so you can use this for various applications so you can either have text on the one side and images on the other or you can go ahead and run text throughout the entire document i hope this was helpful if you have any questions on the topic you can go ahead drop it in the comment section below we'll see you in another awesome video see you later cheerio